Welcome to this quick tutorial and here I'm going to show you how did I created this green branch effect and it's pretty simple actually so just to show you how it looks like in render here's a video so, all right so let's get started so I'm here in the new scene in first this was the Activate the IVJN. So simply go to your user preferences and type in IV. And what you'll see is the IVJN. And just tick this box. So select your object and make sure you have the cursor placed at the point where you want to start your IV grow. And I'm not going in too deep at how it works and what are the changes you need to make to in order to get a good IV because there are pretty good tutorials available on the internet. So let's get started with the effect and I'm gonna press shift A and in curve say add IV to mesh and quickly you will see that something has happened and since this will start uh, quickly I'm gonna crank up the uh, length to 3 units and let's update it takes a, a bit time and I think I'll keep this here only for the sake of this tutorial and let's get Let's select the branch and here you'll see in the ivy curl you have ivy leaf which is separate mesh and just oops and just branch as a separate mesh. So select the branch and so go to the modifiers and add a modifier called build. So, so in build, what you'll see is the start, which is the start frame of the effect, and the length is the overall frames required to grow the effect. So, currently set to 100 means at the frame 100, it will be grown fully. And if I crank up to 300, that means it will take 300 frames to grow this fully. And it's actually building by part by part so as you can see here but uh, since it's not showing a, a growing effect actually it's just popping out and in order to clear that we'll need what we'll need to do is uh, let's crank up this length first so it will start as a slow so let's start with 3000 maybe and set the keyframe and let's see how slow it is going and actually you can see it's climbing over the object and suppose tell the 150 frames I want to slow it down so at 150 insert another keyframe and for say for another 100 frames I want it to get faster so simply decrease the length and let's say 1500 so keyframe so till the 150 frame it will be much slower and after that it will pick up it will be an accelerate and grow it fully since it's not fully grown just because we are just at 250 frames what the actual length says it's 1500 so instead of 1500 let's decrease that to 250 and insert keyframe replace and you will see it's getting better and giving an actual result and the same thing is being done with the leaf but the only difference is that it has an offset value that is after certain frames it will start growing so let's say my branches are grown particularly at the height I want my leaves to start growing so I'll just select the leaves and add the build modifier and at the frame number 150 it will start growing and plus 100 frames at least 250 it will grow fully but since it's very much quicker and what I'll do is I'll just keep this number to high and I don't really care about 
how many leaves I'm getting uh, because there are already so many so here's how you get so you may you may keyframe that and first give that to thousand and suddenly they're just growing like a monster another thing uh, if you don't want so many leaves so what you can do is just come to the last one where everything is just fully grown and select the IVs and press the tab select the face mode and hit the space bar and type in select random select it so it will select the random faces and just press delete and say faces do it as many times you want so now if they are considerably well enough so what you can do is press another select random and in pivot orientation in pivot point just select the individual regions and press the rotate r to rotate them in x uh, y axis just to give a little bit of randomness and also you can have different scalings uh, not much but a little variation like that okay just type in edit again to get back into the object mode and here you'll see is growing branches and leaves so and yeah another thing the, about the opening effect that was this was a cube is forming the overall object again it's pretty simple actually and let's see how it was made very quickly so let's get rid of the ivy I'm just getting rid of the ivies and the leaves and just like this Suzanne in an and very cool modifier called Remesh in let's and you have three type of modes is a block smooth and sharp block is what I used and which gives a, a very cool pixelate uh, pixelate sort of look and what you have here is after depth so if you lower that uh, so essentially it's decreasing its resolution so the one is the cube so what you do is just come under the initial frame and inside the keyframe and say about the 60 I want it to be just from uh, th this much so it another keyframe so what you'll see is this just for me and say another or whatever frames and you want a very dense mesh so just inside the keyframe so what you'll have is a cube and it's just forming 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 and finally it's an object so uh, another thing what I did I mean not even this even I sort of gave a feel of this queue forming with the again a build modifier so the start frame was one and the total frame to five so what it gives is cool forming effect and then Pixelate. Okay, so on top of that, you can rotate that. Just give a little bit of variation. It just looks cool. So, and then the 200 frames is just hit frame. Just tap in 360, insert keyframe, and you'll have very cool effect. Ok, 
okay so that's for it and hope you liked it and got how this was made so if you haven't checked the video so i'm giving you a link in the description so you better check that and and do subscribe for more tutorials and the quick tips so this is it for now so thank you